Hey, what's up, folks? Arctic here, and we got the multiplayer reveal for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare uh, yesterday. I don't often talk too much about Call of Duty. Um, I've had gameplay on my channel in the past, uh, you know, mostly Black Ops stuff, because uh, I do enjoy Treyarch's uh, iterations of Call of Duty when they come out. I, I have enjoyed Black Ops 2 a little bit. I enjoy Black Ops um, tremendously, way more than I expected I would. Uh, but other than that, I haven't really been excited for a Call of Duty game. Uh, Modern Warfare 3, Ghosts, um, just haven't really piqued my interest at all. And uh, Modern Warfare 2, you know, I played quite a bit, but even still, I don't know if it really had that same effect on me as Modern Warfare, which was the pinnacle, I think, of Call of Duty. And looking at Advanced Warfare, it has a lot of elements in it that made me very, very interested in um, Titanfall. And I've jokingly made the comparison before that uh, Advanced Warfare seemed like it was Titanfall 2, right? I mean, um, you know, we weren't really seeing the verticality and gameplay with those. It's been traditional point shoot click for the most part. You get the, the dolphin dives or slides or whatever. But for the most part, the um, minute by minute or second by second gameplay has been on the ground point shoot at someone and it hasn't been you know point shoot aim out point shoot aim left or anything like that with any type of serious uh, uh, reflexes involved I think in, in in terms of your reaction so seeing verticality and, and the shooters on the rise again is something very very incredibly intriguing to me and it always likens me or harks me back to the uh, Unreal Tournament Quake days and those are the games that I grew up with loving so that's why I've been so intimately uh, adamant and pumping up the horn whenever I see some multiplayer gameplay that's like hey look you you are actually showing off some skillful stuff here this is what I want more of um, I'm kind of wondering what the speed and pace of the game will feel like when it's out for release but this actually might be a multiplayer game I play in terms of shooters for a little while. I mean, I don't expect the Call of Duty community to drop off. Um, that's traditionally not been the case with their, with Call of Duty. They, send, they tend to keep a very long, or I should say very uh, lively community from start to finish. And, um, you know, I don't expect them to not have content and a lot of content for the maps uh, or for, I should say, the, the total DLC involved. They seem to support that for quite a long time, whether it be maps or decals or whatever, weapon skins. And, you know, one of the things I think a lot of people were knocking on Titanfall with was content. Um, they're going to have a single player cam uh, campaign, which I think is going to be something that uh, is going to be tremendous because, like I said, I haven't finished a uh, single player in who knows how long. And uh, they're going to have a lot of weapons, uh, which was something that people didn't really like about Titanfall. At the same time, you know, a lot of the weapons that we're going to get are going to feel just slightly different than the other ones. Um, one of the things that I think still has not been shown, and this is what Skyless and I have talked about on multiple occasions, is that we typically get this very futuristic like look for a number of different games, but ultimately all of the weapons end up firing exactly like a rifle or bullet based gun even though you're very far in the future and you would expect things like lasers or um, plasma guns and stuff like that I think Halo is probably the only one that's really differentiated itself that much even you know you look at destiny there's a couple energy based weapons but for the most part it feels like you know normal bullet based guns so it's very hard for me to get excited for futuristic uh, uh, weapons that uh, uh, don't seem that futuristic and I I, I kind of get that they want the player to understand the the resemblance, I think, of famili familiarity with the weapons. So, uh, you know, I don't feel like they can go too wild and crazy just because people might not know how to use it or might not be able to relate to it. Uh, it seemed like that's a big deal. But nevertheless, I think it's still kind of questionable not to have, um, you know, more futuristic weapons in games that are in the future. Uh, so that's my only really knock on any gameplay that I've seen from any game, not just Advanced Warfare, but I can tell you guys from the multiplayer reveal, which I sprinkled in, in and out during this uh, Titanfall gameplay, it has been uh, very, very enticing for me. So I am 
listen, I'm licking my chops to play Call of Duty, and I haven't done that in a very long time. So kudos to Sledgehammer for putting together something that is very much so a different game. I mean, we have side thrusts, we have double jumps, we have um, what look like combinations of those two. So you can double jump and then thrust to the left or thrust to the right. So those types of things really get me excited. There was invisibility stuff, um, which that stuff kind of reminded me of uh, Crisis. And again, I don't know how many of you guys have played a wide array of games or how many of you guys stick to your bread and butter, but I play everything. Like I play all types of shooters. There is there is nothing that I would say that I've played other than maybe Gears that I have played um, and been like, I'm going to be super, super loyal to this and I'm only going to praise and pump this and I'm not going to have anything outside of my blinders. <laughs> and some people are like that. You know, I'm not trying to knock you guys that are like that. But for me, I play every type of shooter out there. One, to test my skills and see um, you know, how good I am against other communities, but also to just see where um, the, the genre is going. And I feel like, I don't know if Titanfall was the first to rekindle this idea of uh, arena style movement in these shooters, but it's certainly tipping the hat to them um, with the gameplay that I saw. So I don't know how anyone can look at this and not say, man, this isn't Titanfall inspired. I mean, it definitely looks like there are elements of Titanfall that are sprinkled all over this damn game. So um, I'm in love with it based on what I saw. Um, I'm concerned about the speed. I hope it's a lot faster than um, you know, a typical game uh, of that caliber. So I'm just hoping the speed is a little bit uh, quicker. Um, you know, obviously 60 FPS is going to be important and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, if it feels heavy and slow, um, then I don't know if that's going to be something that's going to be as enticing as something that is a much snappier, quick experience that requires uh, very fast reactions. I feel like some of the gunfights are going to be tremendously exciting to watch from a competitive level, if you can keep up with it, and just from a uh, player level, you know, being able to have some of those wild engagements is going to be awesome. And to be frank, I actually can't wait to start producing some uh, videos for this because if my Titanfall gameplay is any indication of what's going to happen on, on, <laughs> on Call of Duty, some people are going to get wrecked. So it's going to be fun. I'm excited. Uh, and I, I am surprised that I am excited. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this Titanfall gameplay with sprinkles of Advanced Warfare's multiplayer gameplay in there. And until the next time, I will catch you guys later. Stay frosty.